So I'm about to go for um, a quick walk. I'm not going too far. Maybe just just to the corner and back. Um, this morning when I woke up at 6 a.m. Um, I don't know. I just I just felt so strange. Um, something I haven't felt in a long time. And it, and it just, um, it just made me, I don't know, it just made me feel sick, um, I don't know, I feel kind of sick right now, um, I just went to the bathroom and, I don't know, I just, I just had the urge to, like, run back to my room where I went to the bathroom, but I didn't, um, my head feels my head feels completely strange um i'm having a lot of head pressure i'm having like different kind of headaches like migraines um clustered headaches you know like having a i'm having it right now like a cluster headache you know those headaches like it's like right under your eye um the migraine and I haven't had these headaches, um, this bad for, for a couple of months and I don't know what triggered me to having them, but Today I actually wanted to go to the to the store that I had my second panic attack, but I don't know, maybe I was thinking about it too much that it just got to me. Um, I'm not going because I don't think I'll be hand able to handle it plus um, I think I'm coming down with a fever because I'm not feeling so well right now and I don't trust myself um, going in right now, I mean I don't know if I can, I don't think I'll be able to handle it, but, um, I don't want to get upset that, that I can't go, you know, I don't want to fall back into that depression, um, but I still do want to leave my house, um, you know, it's, since the time changed, um, around 6 a.m. is already, the, the sun is already coming out and it gets dark around five something p.m. so like last year this time around October was really bad for me um November was okay but after that I just got really bad so I'm hoping that doesn't happen again to me this year um because yesterday I when I went for that drive, I came so close to just saying no and stay home, but I still went, um, and two days ago on Saturday when I went to the pond, I felt completely fine, but, but yesterday, I don't know what happened to me, um, I think on Saturday night when I got so dizzy, uh, it's like a dizziness I haven't felt for a long time. You know, I got that swaying left and right, that sinking to the ground, feeling like I was on the boat. Um, I also felt like I was going to faint. My, I had um, really bad headaches, had head rushes, you know, like I feel like I wasn't breathing right. And all those symptoms I haven't had for months just all came back. And I don't know. So when I woke up this morning, I I felt okay, and then within a few minutes, I start feeling sick to my stomach. Um, like right now, I'm like sucking, guessing myself. Do I even want to go outside? You know, I don't want to fall back into that depression mode of just laying down in my bed, which is just like right behind me. Um, but getting like really bad headaches and. You know, I 
I haven't missed a day yet, so, and don't get me wrong, there were days that I didn't want to go out, but I still went out, but today, yesterday and today, oof. I don't know what happened, but I don't know if I'm coming down with, with a fever, like I mentioned, I don't, I don't feel so well right now, I'm just, this headaches are just like, ugh, getting to me right now. It's like pain around my eyes, the side of my head, the top of my head, the, the back of my head is just It's just the headaches, the head pressure, and then the upset stomach and feeling like that too Feeling like I'm gonna faint My heart isn't wasting or anything but those headaches So, I think I'm just gonna just walk to the corner and walk back. I mean, you know, it's, I just, I don't want to get upset on myself for not being able to go out, but, you know, I also don't want to miss a day, even if I'm just going for like a, a quick walk around the corner and back, but... You know, anytime I'm outside, whether that's my front yard, my backyard, um, I'm okay with that. But because that's still outside, like I mentioned, for um, the longest time I couldn't even make it past the hallway. You know, um, if I look through my, if I open my bedroom door and I look straight ahead, that's my front door. I used to just look at the front door and just feel panicky. I wouldn't even want to leave my bedroom door open. I had a, my headache so bad today that um, I decided not to even open my bedroom door and uh, so when I wake up at 6 a.m. and I'm still happy, still so tired and then the sun is in my face um, I think that made me that also um, spiked up my headaches like you know when you when you get migraines um, the sound the bright bright light stuff like that would just make it worse um, I mean, I have doctor curtains right now, but, you know, um, so they do kind of help, but, you know, right now, I'm just looking out the window, um, it's, it's getting dark, there's still light, but, you know, I thought summer was, would be worse for me, but I'm hoping, um, winter, I won't fall into that depression because I don't feel depressed but you know it, I haven't felt depressed for the longest time but, I, but it's just the way I'm feeling now is it's so hard to just talk about um, I'm also like really tired. It's just all this head pressure that that's getting to me right now. It's like you know I'm looking out my window and then I feel so detached right now. Uh, I'm, I don't even want to focus on how I'm feeling, but you know sometimes when you when you haven't feel a certain way for the longest time, it just it's just so hard for you not to feel it, you know, if you, your head feels like it's pounding, you, you know, you get that really bad headache, that pain in your head, you know, it's hard to, 
It's hard for you not to pay attention to it, but I mean, I've done it before, and I don't understand why. I mean, I stopped paying attention to it for for the longest time, but now I'm back here paying attention to how I'm feeling. But you know, um, I'm gonna head out the door. Just like I say, I'm just gonna go for a quick walk nine maybe not even five minutes and just head back home and eat my dinner and maybe sleep early tonight. I mean I did fell asleep early last night. Um but you know even when I slept last night I only woke up in the middle of the night once and you know this so sleeping I'm not gonna say sleeping will, you know, will help with the headaches and stuff, but it it just makes me feel more more energized. I mean, right now I am tired, but you know, it's because I'm it's coming down with a fever or something. I don't know, but you know, I'm not gonna let it get to me. I'm not gonna let it like really stop me from leaving the house even though I'm just going for like a a walk to the corner and back but you know I just want proof that I can go outside while I feel sick right now and you know I might not look sick but in my head like I just just don't feel well um I don't feel like I have much energy right now I feel I'm gonna fall asleep while I'm talking, you know. Even early when I went to the bathroom, I was like, toasting off, you know, I almost, I feel so off balance that I felt like I had to grab on to the shower door. But anyways, I'm about to head out before it starts getting dark. Hi. Hi. How are you? Can you? Do it. I feel I feel like I'm gonna faint, and I feel like I'm gonna have to vomit. So I'm just gonna head back home. Even though I only walk for like to the corner.
Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just lost for words right now, but um, I'm still happy I went. I mean, I did say I was only going to the corner. But, you know, there were days that I said I was only going to the corner, but I went for like a walk around like an extra block or two, but, you know, today I just, I wasn't, I wasn't brave enough to do it, but, you know, um, and that's okay, you know, Sometimes in life you there are things you can't control. Like today, I I couldn't I couldn't handle it. Um, but uh, I'm not gonna get upset on myself for not being able to do it because you know that would just make me not want to do it. You know, but. It was really hard for me to leave today. Um, like I said, I haven't felt this way in a long time. But I still went out, man, and that's how that matters. But yeah, I'm about to head back inside, eat my dinner, and you know, just you know, maybe listen to some music or. Um, watch like an old movie, you know, something that get my mind off of get myself out of what's in my mind right now, like my thoughts and whatnot, but you know, I just bumped into my neighbor and her grandma her, her stepmom or something and just just asked me how I was doing and you know, I say I'm okay. I think they kind of know because they usually don't, they haven't seen me like outside as much as I used to. But, or maybe, you know, they talked to my parents and my parents told them, but I mean, it's a nice day out even though it's getting dark, but you know, I'm happy that I still force myself to go out. I mean, I don't like using the word force myself out. I mean, I still went out and, you know, I went outside against my symptoms, you know, the dizziness, the headaches, the, all the head pressure, you know. Um, also, I was having a lot of chest pain around my heart all day today and, you know, that's one of the things that to make anyone panicky, you know, that chest pain, anything with your chest, instantly think you're having a heart attack, you know. Like right now my chest is starting to hurt because I just mentioned it and uh, but you know, tomorrow's a new day. And sometimes, you know, you just have